Hey guys, I'm back again with another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these. These are the Reveal MTMs. That's right, they're an MTM version of the reveals that we made just a few weeks ago. And what's cool about this is it is a budget friendly build, and all the parts can be sourced from the same place, which is Parts Express. So sit back, relax. Let's go ahead and show you how to build these, and after we're done, we'll do a sound test. And we'll do a sound test both vertically and horizontally for those of you who might want to build this into a sound bar. Let's get building. First thing to do is cut the box. We're using half inch MDF and we're making it 14 inches tall by 7 inches deep and 5 inches wide. Next thing to do is go ahead and glue the four sides together. We're going to leave the front and rear baffle off for now. Let's go ahead and find the center points for all of our speakers. The tweeter will be in the direct center at 7 inches. And each one of the woofers will be 2 and 5 eighths inches on either side of the tweeter. We're going to go ahead and cut a 36 millimeter hole for the tweeter. And we're also going to cut two 3 inch holes for the mids. I did a simple round over on all the speaker cutouts. On the woofers I did a 3 8 inch round over and on the tweeter I did a 1 quarter inch. On the rear baffle, find a good spot to mark out where you're going to put your binding posts. If you're not creating a removable baffle, go ahead and glue on the front baffle and paint all around the speaker holes. I went ahead and painted the whole front baffle. It's just going to be very hard to paint around those speakers once they're installed. Go ahead and line up your speakers and when you get them to where you want them, go ahead and screw them in place. The mids are going to be wired in series so that we have a nominal 8 ohm load. Go ahead and solder your crossover together and connect it to the binding posts and speakers. Once you've tested the speaker, go ahead and glue everything together. This next part is optional, but I used a half inch round over bit and rounded over all the sides except the rear. Once finished with that, go ahead and paint it and we will be ready for testing. Alright guys, here is the Reveal MTM. They're amazing speakers. We're going to listen to them both this way and then we're also going to turn them and listen to them horizontally. So for any of you guys that might be looking for a budget sound bar, you can do that. Alright guys, let's listen to some no copyright sounds duck face and see what you think. Now, I will tell you the sub 8 is on. So this is not the speakers by themselves. Let's listen to this orientation and then we'll flip them.
Alright guys, the exact same song with the orientation flip. Let's go ahead and listen to it again. Alright guys, as you can see, really these speakers would work well in either orientation. So if you did want to make a cheap soundbar out of these, this would actually be a really inexpensive soundbar. Um, it would come to about you know 80 bucks for the soundbar. You could even put like a built-in subwoofer in the center where there's plenty of room left if you want to put like a built-in like micro subwoofer if you don't want like a big subwoofer like the sub-8 although I gotta say it sounds really good with the sub-8 which is the you know the dual passive radiator build if you didn't watch that it, it got a paint job sorry guys it used to be gray I know you might be a little confused because now it's white but alright guys now just a reminder these are all Dayton drivers which of course can be purchased from Parts Express now if you want to build these or something like it uh, go ahead and visit their website and take a look at some of the products that they offer. They offer all kinds of different products. Now, if you like the video, please, as always, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks.